to Practical Healthy Living. This is On Topic, and today we are fortunate to be joined by Beth Duffy, who is a graduate of Cornell University with a degree in environmental engineering. She's a past president of the Cornell Club of Toronto and recently accepted a four-year term on the Cornell University Council. Beth is also an entrepreneur who, along with a team, has created a new app called the Christmas Tree of Kindness. Welcome to Practical Healthy Living. Beth, how are you? Thank you so much for having me, Alan. Well, I'm excited that you're here. Now, where are you where are you talking to us from? So we live in Aurora, Ontario, which is about uh, 25 miles north of Toronto. Great. You're you're not far from the North Pole. I often think that to myself. <laughs> Well, can you uh, tell us about the program that you created, the uh, Christmas Tree of Kindness? Uh, what's, what's the backstory? How did, how did this come into to being? So, Alan, when our children were little, uh, we wanted to find a fun activity that uh, we could do together as a family to practice kindness and giving uh, because we found that uh, the kids were really excited about what w they would be receiving from Santa. And, you know, my husband and I were excited about that, too. But um, we just thought that we need to, you know, rein that in a little bit and focus on the true meanings of the season, which uh, include uh, the kindness and giving. And we came up uh, with this uh, idea of cutting out uh a construction paper tree and hanging it on our cabinet and we would add an ornament when one of us would complete a kind act and um, one year turned into two years and then we shared it with other people and everyone enjoyed it and about 16 years went by and we were reluctant entrepreneurs but we thought we either you know do something with this idea or we stop talking about it <laughs> And how, how did you make the leap from the, the paper version, which probably could have been a marketable product as well, to, to an app? How, how did you make that leap? Alan, that's a great question. And I must say that our first thought was, you know, let's do um, some type of craft or magnetic tree in a kitchen. I mean, something for people's kitchens or a classroom of the same activity. But um you know, as we thought about it, um, you know, my husband and I discussed it and we realized that what does everybody have now? Phones. Mm -hmm. And wouldn't it be great if the activity could be shared, um, you know, among families that were separated uh, to decorate trees together? And the, the app uh, really gave us that opportunity. Okay. And um, do are you a programmer yourself? How, how do you do? How do you make an app? So, um, Alan, I'm happy to say that we have two expert, patient, and kind programmers that have helped us over the years, and uh, it has been a process. Uh, but with their help, we have a beautiful product uh, that we're sharing this year. Yeah, you know, one of the things that I'm, I'm, I was excited about your your app is that um, I have had um, experiences with the Elf on the Shelf, and uh, the Elf on the Shelf is, is a fine thing, but if you look at social media, sometimes they have Elf on the Shelf doing rather perverse things, and it, <laughs> it kind of loses its Christmas and holiday luster. Uh, how is this an alternative? How can this be used? Well, that's a great question. And um, what I'd like to say is that Elf on the Shelf is wonderful. It's brought people so much joy. Um, and moms that I've encountered or teachers have said, you know, it's great. Elf on the Shelf is wonderful, but it's wonderful to have alternatives. And um, yes, uh, this... Uh, can be used during the Christmas season only, or it can be used uh, year round. But the idea with uh, the Christmas tree of kindness is that each ornament is added only after a kind act is completed. So whether it's the virtual tree in the app, or there's also a printable craft 
that everyone can hang in their kitchen or classroom. And um, we have suggested kind acts in the app, or we have um, uh, a little box so you can enter your own kind act. And um, so that gives everybody a chance to, um, uh, you know, have their own creativity and their own, their own kind acts. Um, but so, yes, we do uh, think we are an alternative to Elf on the Shelf. And, hey, it would be great if people did both. <laughs> now, the thing I think about the Elf that bothers me is it kind of stalks people. <laughs> well, you know, uh, yes, I've heard, no, I've heard that before, too. Um, yes, I've heard that before, too. <laughs> now, let me ask you another question. Uh, it, it sounds like you, you have this empty Christmas tree. And as people in the family uh, do kind acts, uh, they get a ornament that appears on the Christmas tree. And then towards the end of the season, you have a whole decorated Christmas tree. Is that correct? That's correct. Now, let's say if I'm here in my cabin in Minnesota and I have a child or a grandchild in Florida, uh, can we still share in that experience? Yes, Alan, um, the creator of a tree, so let's say, for instance, yourself, um, can invite um, people uh, in Florida, anywhere, with a prepared message and passcode that's included in the app. And then uh, you send them an invitation by text or email. Okay. And then they can join your tree. Uh, by entering the passcode on the home page, and you can see when they've joined your tree as well as their name. And then when they do complete a kind act, you'll see, uh, for instance, Sarah in Florida added an ornament, and then you can go into your tree and see what um, ornament Sarah selected, as well as a description of her kind act. Okay. Now, you said that there's suggested kind of acts, like uh, doing the dishes for mom or something like that. Uh, what if they do something unique? Can, can that be described? Yes. So we do have a yellow box at the top and you can enter uh, any kind act, any other kind act. You can just type it in. And the one thing, please, I just like to mention is then when you're finished, when everyone's finished decorating the tree, everyone will receive a star for the treetop as well as Christmas music to celebrate. <laughs> okay. It sounds like you've thought of everything. Well, we keep learning. It's a journey. <laughs> I can only imagine. Now, step away from the tree for a second. Uh, originally, I, I believe that you said that you were from Pennsylvania? Yes. Now, how does a girl from Pennsylvania get to Ontario? Love. Okay. Tell me no. about that, that journey. Okay. So um, I met my husband the first week of university and he borrowed a pencil from me and it was during a math exam. And I can remember thinking, what kind of guy comes to a math exam without a pencil? <laughs> but, but then I can remember thinking he, se he seems pretty cute. Well, anyway, he ended up doing better on the math exam than I did. I lent him my pencil and we started a friendship and, um, but we did go our separate ways after university, but we eventually did get married and uh, we have two beautiful children and we're, we're very thankful. But um, I remember my father just was amazed too that, you know, he never thought I'd go to school and meet someone from Canada. <laughs> but you know what, it was a different day and age then. Now, you know, everything's much more, uh, opened up and it's not, it's, it's more commonplace. Yes. Uh, you and I have a, a, a common path or a passage. Uh, I think your, your children went to school at Notre Dame, University of Notre Dame. Yes. Uh, but I, I used to live in South Bend for, for a number of years. Uh, oh my gosh. So we have that intersection. It's a, well, that's a beautiful intersection. And, you know, we're um, big Notre Dame fans now. Uh, 
both of our kids were accepted at Cornell and they both wanted to go to Notre Dame. And now we understand why, you know, children are such an amazing gift um, because they open up your world. I mean, aside from the obvious reasons, you know, they open up your world and help you see things differently. And, you know, we, we love Cornell and our Cornell experience. And now we love the fighting Irish. <laughs> and actually, we're supposed to go this week. Uh, we're going to go visit the kids and we're going to South Bend. Excellent. Enjoy that trip. Do they still have the big pregame shows? Yes, they do. <laughs> and we're going to have to pace ourselves if we hope to see the football game at 730 at night. <laughs> it's a big day. We're going to have to pause here for just a moment, but when we come back, I'd like to hear about the Christmas tree that changed the world. Wonderful. Today we are talking with Beth Duffy, and she's going to tell us about the Christmas tree that changed the world. Beth, can you can you tell us what this story is? Yes. So, Alan, this story is included in the app, and it's about a young evergreen tree named Spruce and his puppy friend Holly. And one of my favorite things about this story is the heroes of the story are two uh, young ones. And they have uh, they have doubts about how to uh, decorate spruce in a special way. Uh, and they want to do something different. And they come up with the idea of uh, completing kind acts. And they're really excited. And they hear the nearby snowman say, you can't do that. You're too little. And they think about uh, Christmas and they decide that yes, they can. So they go ahead and they help um, the nearby Chestnut Bunny family. They help uh, the Merry Squirrel family. And uh, they help a, a boy a, a, and a girl who uh, lost a ball and they uh, accumulate ornaments. And there are some other kind acts in there. And before you know it, um, their tree is decorated and they're ready for Christmas Day. And uh, early on Christmas morning, uh, Spruce is uh, awakened and he sees that there's a beautiful star on his treetop. And they're all, and um, of course, Holly, uh, his friend, is nearby and they're speechless when they see the star on the top. And all of a sudden they hear singing and it's, their friends that they helped with kind acts gathering around the tree, uh, singing, we wish you a Merry Christmas on Christmas morning. And that's the same song that you hear in the app. And in the app, you also get a star for the top of your tree. But anyway, uh, they're singing and all of a sudden they hear ho, 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 ho. And it's Santa and Mrs. Claus rushing towards them. And Santa says, we saw a star and we heard Christmas music. And they quickly explained, uh, you know, uh, what happened. And Santa says that you're all on the nice list, which of course means, you know, they're going to be getting presents. So they were big, they're big cheers. Everybody's happy. And then, um, this is my favorite part of the story. And, uh, my brother-in-law, um, added this, uh, part of the story, but, um, the trees, um, their branches wave in the winds and they they take the message of the Christmas tree of kindness and they share it. And uh, before you know it, uh, the story of the Christmas tree of kindness is spread all over the world and there are trees lit up with kindness everywhere. And uh, Santa and Mrs. Claus return each Christmas to thank Spruce and Holly 
for starting the first Christmas tree of kindness and for sharing the idea with others, uh, because now we all can decorate trees with kindness and uh, one kind act and one ornament at a time. That's a, that's a great story. And uh, it sounds like you wrote this story, but you had a lot of Duffy support in, in writing it. I know, you know, it was, uh, yes, we had Duffy support, my husband, our children, and um, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law are uh, wonderful writers themselves. And uh, we had Zoom calls and we bounced ideas and we really did come up with um, as something memorable. You know, as a, as a psychologist, one of the things that I, I really like about this is the, the it's not give me, give me, give me that you have with commercial holidays uh, in, in these day, day and age, but this is focusing on what you can do for other people. And I think that's such a, a healthy change, uh, and it's good to see in a, in a product that comes up around Christmas. Uh, was that intentional? Did you think through that, um, or did that was that just a byproduct? Um, so I think that we read a few parenting books, and we learned that we were going to have to walk the walk and talk the talk. And you know, actions really do speak louder than words. So uh, you know, it gives parents a chance to uh, model kindness. And I think that, and per, perhaps you will agree, you know, the more we focus on uh, time is so valuable for everyone's lives that uh, the more we focus on and put an emphasis on kindness, it, it must leave an impact on our kids, a positive one. Absolutely. It seems like um, when you have uh, an app like this, uh, it, it's, an, it's an opportunity to walk that walk. And I, I, I just love the whole, whole concept of it. And that story uh, is a story I would love to read to grandchildren or to children. It, uh, I could just see curling up with a cup of tea and that, that story and, and reading it to a, a youngster. I think that would be a fabulous thing. And, you know, in, in this time, uh, we, we kind of live in a unique time where we've become very polarized as, as a world. And it's nice to have something that focuses on just being kind to each other. Yes. And, you know, Alan, um, this isn't an original thought, but I, I couldn't agree more. And I think that you will agree that uh, we don't have to uh, agree on anything to be kind to one another. Absolutely. You know, uh, can we put that web page address up here? Okay. Uh, they're, they're putting the, the web page up on the screen. Uh, if somebody goes to this web address, what happens next? Can you walk us through it? Yes. Um, so you can download the app by uh, going to the section that says download the app, or you can download it from the Apple Store. But directly from our website, if you tap download the app, it'll take you right to the Apple Store, and uh, you uh, tap on uh, Christmas Tree of Kindness, and it'll t take you to this home screen right here. And uh, the buttons are um, reviewing. Uh, they're called um, How to Play, which is a little tutorial. Start a tree. That's the red button. So if you tap the red button, um, that'll take you to name your tree, how many ornaments, and the background. So... Um, let's see, the number of ornaments you can select are 10, 15, 20, or 25. And the backgrounds are uh, red, snowy, forest. Um, and let's see, what else? Oh, and name your tree. You can name your tree, whatever, whatever you'd like. And then you just hit a uh, start tree and then your tree is created. Um, but then quickly, um, there's also my tree list. That's the button li listed there. You can do as many trees as you want and you'll have a history of them that you can always go back and access them. And uh, the button at the bottom is the join a tree button. So if you sent uh, a code to your grandchildren, they would just tap that bottom button and enter the number. And then that's how they join your tree. 
But backing up to um, after you uh, uh, start your tree and uh, you just then begin by uh, either selecting a kind act or entering your own kind act and selecting an ornament and uh, you just hit the add button or tap the add button and uh, the ornament is added. Now, can you start more than one tree? Yes. Okay. That's a great you question. You have one for home, one for the office, and one for something else. Right, or one for each grandchild, okay. if you wanted to. Uh, but also, if you visit us on uh, the website or on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, we do have uh, tutorials that you can see each of the screens that I just described. So they're little videos um, that are very helpful and they're very short. Now, is it my understanding that this year, is, this is an Apple app only? Yes, Alan, this year it's an Apple app only, but if all goes well in the future, hopefully next year we'll have it on Android. And also we've been asked to do different types of trees and we really welcome that opportunity, um, whether it's a Hanukkah bush or something to celebrate Kwanzaa or any other um, uh, ways to encourage uh, kindness. You know, we're, we're open to that in the future and we hope we get to that stage. That would be absolutely amazing if, if you can get that done. And unfortunately, I'm an Android user, so I'm going to have to wait till next year. So the good news is um, if anybody would like, if you are an Android user and Alan, I'll send it to you, but I'm going to send you a copy of the story as well as a copy of the uh, blank tree and then a copy of the 39 ornaments that you can duplicate as many times as you want and share with your uh, family and friends. And anyone who would um, has an Android and would like the story um, or the printable tree, if you, the website's on I mean, I'm sorry, my email's on the website, but if you just uh, put in Christmas tree of kindness at gmail.com and contact me, I'll be happy to send that uh, to anyone in the meantime. That's fantastic. Uh, and very kind of you to share like that. And it makes me very excited for 2022 because then I can get my own on my phone. Sounds great. So when, when you... Um, have your your tree fully decorated uh, that would be like on December 25th but it sounds like you could have your your celebration uh, be on a different day yes um, so some people are filling uh, trees right now up with kind acts um, you know they do it we did Christmas in July uh, so you can really do it any time of year. Uh, some people have their Christmas trees up all year round, which I found out, which is, I think, wonderful. You know, they love the Christmas cheer year round. So they're interested in doing the, the app year round. Some people use the activity as a countdown to Christmas uh, with the 25 ornament tree, you know, as a personal goal, trying to do one for each day and uh, then complete for for Christmas Day. Oh, so you could actually turn this into uh, a personal thing. So, like, if I didn't eat the red and green Christmas donuts at work today, I could reward myself with a with an ornament. Yes. So you can do it. Your, you know, and I think it's great uh, for individuals um, as well. And a lot of people like it because it's handy, and you know, it's on their phones and. You know, it's easy to keep track when they're, um, you know, on on the go. Excellent. Well, Beth, I think that you have created a wonderful uh, uh, program here, and this app is destined to be a, a very popular one, I believe, uh, this year and over the coming years. And I'm really, honestly, waiting for the movie uh, of the Christmas tree that changed the world. I, I think that's going to be a Hallmark special at some point. I just feel it. Oh, good. I hope you're right. But, you know, our goal is just for people to light up with a smile like yourself, um, because honestly, that's the way we feel about the story, too. It's a beautiful story. And uh, 
Uh, I'm going to be happy to send it to you. And again, to anyone else who emails us. So thank you for your kindness. Thank you for joining us today.